I didn't hear anything about Roe v. Wade growing up. You know, I grew up in a small rural town in North Carolina and we definitely weren't talking about Roe because we weren't even talking about sex. I was 40 years old when I learned about Roe v. Wade. I took a job at an abortion clinic and that's when I connected the dots to, oh, okay, it was this law in 1973 that created the precedence that allows us to do the work that we're doing right now. Roe v. Wade is something that I learned about in high school in my U.S. government class. And even at that young age, I was well aware that legality and access were not the same thing. I was asked to go with a friend who wanted and needed an abortion. And that was the first time I really got confronted with it and even realized that, oh, wait a minute, there is actually a law that makes it possible for us to be able to go into this clinic. For me and my journey, I got pregnant at 16, 17, I got an abortion, and that was a rite of passage into adulthood for me and um, something I'm really proud of. And as a black person in the community that I grew up in, nobody was talking about Roe, I mean, nobody was talking about abortion, but, but I, I accessed abortion care and it was really important and significant in my story. I want to celebrate it powerfully, yes. And I also want to hold the nuance of it, right? Um, as a black woman in this world that knows how difficult it is for people like me and other folks of color um, to have access to what we need around abortion in this country. We all are a part of this story, right? We've been living and having reproductive lives um, in these years since Roe. Roe's just a couple years older than me. Roe v. Wade is the beginning, but it has never, it's never even been close to the end. And we need to work every single day to ensure that people get the access that they need to the reproductive care that they need.